uh, me and St. John, Gary Shaw, shout out to Gary Shaw. Yeah. Um, big promoter in the early 2000s. Uh, and of course, practice. Oh, oh, yeah. Practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're going to uh, practice. Jerry Enzenberg. Shooting. Isaac I was going to do one gun tonight. I got a little yeah. tired last right. night okay. trying yeah. to shoot oh, all yeah, they, they of my like, pistols that I have, including like, my Draco. They said his name. The night we're going to practice with this. It's called the X10 Elite. Yeah. Yeah. He's great. And Turn it down. Victor Macho Camacho. Turn it down a little bit. Bada bing, bada boom, right? So. Let me uh, tell you what's going to happen. Here is the Targetto right there, row. So I'm going to take this and move this up so y'all can see the target. Let me see if y'all can see it. Can y'all see the target? The results you know tell you what I'm doing wrong now I'm not gonna look at it I'm not gonna be able to see it from all the way back there Let me move a little bit closer Let me see a little bit closer okay that's it so right now it says 46 because so I was just messing around so you know what? let me go ahead on and practice shooting now it's not really about the target more or less how you hold a gun what you're doing with your trigger finger blah 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 all that stuff and to tell you what the sensor thinks on the gun as to what you're doing now. There's no live ammo in the gun. I'll show you this to make sure that we don't have issues with the internets. Okay? So this is the sensor that you put on the gun. This is the sensor. Right now it's off. Take it put on the gun. And before you get ready to set this up, or before you put it on to the gun, and you click it, it connects with the situation right there and then you know it's going so we're going to check it bam nothing in the mag all right put it back nothing in the chamber all right you done you hit a click nothing in there so i'm just going to shoot and play around right now basically what's picking up this sensors like I said, since is how you hold a gun, whether you're holding it correctly, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Let's play around. Let me take about 10 shots. Just to show you how this works. So we don't want to have, we don't have enough money to go to the shooting range. Now I'm going to probably go back about 10 feet. So I wear size 12s. So I'm going to take six steps. No, if I wear 12, I'm going to take seven steps. That'd be 84, nine steps. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a half. So I'm about ten feet away right now, and then I'm gonna pull back. And I like this. This is a Hellcat, Springfield Hellcat. Now I know where I'm standing. It's a Springfield Hellcat. How at your boy? I like the camouflage look, with a special handle grip on it, and so on and so forth. Pretty good piece. I, I like the trigger too. The trigger is really really cool. You can you got like a little safety there. To make sure it don't shoot until you ready to really go bang. Okay? And you pull it back. And there's a short pullback. You don't have to pull it back a lot. Now you see that picked it up and I ain't even shoot at the target. Because it's not worrying about me shooting at the target. I can go like this. You know what I mean? And it's still be like, yo. I guess not. Maybe I was shooting. Let's see. There you go. Now I was right up on it. And I shot right in the zero because it's not about you actually shooting there, but it don't mean that that's the score. The score says pushing, no follow through. Now this is what we call a dry fire. Now you can also take this to shooting range and see how you actually can get that recoil. All right, so let's go. Let's play around. Shooting further back last night, though, I was really hitting. So I'm gonna move back 20 feet. 
You know, it's better than 20 feet. So, that's my shoe. That last one's horrible. I got in the last one at least a little bit better than that. <laughs> a little bit better than that. Oh, getting worse. Figure this. That'd be a good one because I really tightened up on, on the shooting grip. Now, once you do that, you can turn this off. And you can go through and it'll let you know exactly what she was doing. That was breaking wrists up and I did 37 shots. And then you go here to get the info and it tells you everything about, you know, what you did and so on and so forth. They give you the graph as to how you shot and you can read all that. I haven't really, really went through a watch column and, and read everything that was supposed to take place. It also has a drawing game to, that you can do, do the shots right there. But these are not actually the shots because you see it's too many around the rim. It's actually just kind of telling you what you were doing doing wrong. Here we have groups. If you was doing it with another group, if you were signed on, it says let's train together. So if you had somebody like internet connection, somebody like that, bada bing, bada boom. My man was over here. He had a good time shooting over here too. And basically it's a setup as to what you're using, whether you're using a rifle or a pistol, so on and so forth. And you just go back to the target, audio feedback, and you set that up. And when you go back here, you can pick holster draw analysis, recoil meter, all types of different things you can do here to practice your shots and all that good stuff. So, you know, we can go back to here and now it's clear because I went back. I don't know if I can go back to where I was before. Nope, 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 that's it. Once I cleared it out, I guess that's it. There's no more yamin, you know, yamin on yamin. Let's start shooting again. Oh, there you go. He came back. Okay. And I guess it's, it's larger. One day I'm going to really look into it and check it out. You can put your sessions in and gun type and all that stuff you want to put in there as well. Uh, so it does a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of things you can do if I go into the range. Because going to the range costs a lot of money nowadays. And it's just the way it is. So, you know, by the time you go and buy some bullets, if you don't have any ammo, and these are my goggle glasses, also have my head muffs. If you don't have any, you know, Probably cost you like maybe thirty dollars. Some places thirty dollars an hour to shoot. Some places twenty, you know, so on and so forth. Well, thirty-five at Delaware Valley Sports Club, you can shoot all day for thirty-five. So if you got all day, you want to go in there and really use it up, you can. And then uh, the other spot is Target World. I think it's like fifteen to twenty dollars an hour, and you shoot and you bring. I bring all my um, all my pistols, and I shoot up. You know what I mean? And bam! But you know, I got mostly nines. So that way I can just buy me like two boxes of nines and I can just shoot like maybe ten a pop because I have like seven pieces. You know what I mean? I had one. I sold my last one. That was a 380. And I had one 380 piece. And then I have uh, the rest of nines. So that's what I do. So I practice from time to time. Get up here. I should be doing more exercising because, like I said, I mentioned in my videos, if you haven't checked it out, man, sleep has been crazy. And now, I mean, again, once again, until I told people I was shooting and collecting guns, and not just to collect guns, but to shoot and have fun and practice and so on and so forth, plus personal defense. When I found out about the people who can't sleep at night, many people can't get good sleep at night. But all this is going on in our world, man, it's crazy. And sometimes you just wake up in the middle of the night and you start thinking about something you might have thought about earlier. Like, I can't believe they killed up everybody in the place or something like that you know whatever it is man you try to put the phone down turn the tv off whatever it is so you can get a good night's sleep sometimes it just don't work so tonight i'm gonna try to give me a good night's sleep i'm gonna say night night to my friends who i talk to normally at night now and that way it's 10 10 and by the time 11 o'clock come i want to i've been going to bed too early and going to bed too early make i'm definitely gonna wake up in the middle of the night i've stopped drinking um 
uh, my, my physician said, don't drink after 8 o'clock. That way you got to worry about getting up a pen. So before I go, probably to bed, I'll probably do one last PP. I got like six times last night. I got all these cameras in my crib. I got one in my bathroom, so on and so forth. So I saw myself go in there because it's orange. I saw myself going to the bathroom five times, man. I think one, was 11, then one, then three, then five, then seven hours. Man, I was, man every two hours here, like I was getting up to go pee. And then when I wake up, I'm all like hydrated, dehydrated, because I didn't pee out all the water. But it said don't drink nothing before you go to bed, right? Kind of crazy, but when you wake up in the morning, you just got to rehydrate real quick because you need to do it. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. So I figured, let me get up. I was going to do, I'm going to do some weights. I'm going to grab these weights right here and try to do some necks and whatsoever to relieve the tension of the day. I've been walking around all day. I put in like, how many steps I do today? 18,700. Yeah, I mean, on the holiday, but let's see. There you go. There you go. Not showing. 18,000. Holla at your boy steps. Y'all see it. So I done put in a lot of steps. So basically I've done that. I was walking today. I was running in place. I'm going to do that too tonight. Running in place with the weights in my hand. Well, I got... Right now I got some shorts on that's too small. I mean too big all of a sudden because I'm losing weight. So I got to get them run run with the weights. Probably do some punches with my, with my eight pounders. You know, stuff like that. So I can get myself really tired out. So when I go to bed tonight, heaven willing, I get some good night's sleep once and for all. Because it's been a while, and hopefully you guys are getting good sleep too. And if you're not, then, you know, do like I did. Just investigate. I bought some, um, what did I buy tonight? I bought, went to the store and bought me some, uh, what is this stuff called? Hold on, I'm going to show it to you. It's called something to help you sleep. Oh, uh, besides magnesium, which I'll probably take that tonight as well. And maybe a banana. Slice me a banana. And eat that, and then can't eat all of it, but slice a banana, because they got, I think banana has tryptophan in it. I bought this today. Brewer's yeast powder. And this is supposed to help you sleep as well. It's premium, natural, unflavored, unsweetened. And while I was eating my food tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little thing of oatmeal. Not a lot, just a little bit of oatmeal, and pour this in there. And eat a little bit of that before I go to bed. But a brewer's yeast rice is supposed to help calm down your your um your uh 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 uh, uh what they call it what they call it man the, the 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 stuff that goes crazy the serotonin or the something toning whatever and it kind of calms it down and, and breaks it down and, you know if you have anxiety and stuff like that it kind of helps with that too blah 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 along with the magnesium so i'm gonna have my little checklist i'm gonna open up a magnesium tablet put that in the oatmeal as well blah 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 stir it up and eat that and bada bing, bada boom. So, I mean, a lot of people don't want to admit. Like I said, I'm here. I'm here because I'm a real dude. I ain't got a problem telling you what I'm going through. I'm 60. I expect it. You never expect when you get to 60, you go through things. But I know people older than me. And they'll never admit. They'll just say, I'm having a bad day or whatever. whatever. I don't want to ever say I'm having a bad day. I'm having a day that I'm just realizing that I'm getting older. So now you got to make adjustments. So Brewer's yeast powder and the stink too. Ooh. Oh. Stank. That's all right. Stuff that stank is good for you. And I got this from the shop, the vitamin shop up in Willow Grove. So uh, check it out. I got to go up there tomorrow and get my uh, protein powder because I ran out today and my coupon hadn't come through. And they protein powder I really want with all the greens and everything in it is like 50 bucks. That's why I get $10 off with this $20, 20% off coupon. So I'll be back tomorrow to pick that up. And bada bing, bada boom. And uh, that's it. So tonight what I had for dinner, I had me some Brussels sprouts, some uh, mixed vegetables and some rice, some tamarindos, blah, blah, blah. I got to cut out on the alcohol. So maybe once or twice a week, just drink a little bit. Stop partying because, you know, that, that's going to catch up with you eventually. Y'all can still be in and drink every day if you want. I don't care whether you're alcoholic or whether you're not alcoholic. Drinking is not a good thing to be doing it every day. I don't care whether you're on vacation or whatever. It's not a good thing because your liver, your heart, blood vessels do not like alcohol like that. Maybe a glass of wine, yes, but drinking is to be drinking mixed drinks and all that stuff is not good for you. And if you really go to a doctor, because a lot of you are scared to go because you don't want to hear the truth. But if you go to the doctor, gonna take, first thing he's going to ask you three things. Are you, what you eating? What are you drinking? And are you getting some sleep? That's it. That's your life right there, man. So take care of yourself.
Find what you need to make yourself a little better. Because you're going to have to try. You don't just want to give up. If you've got issues, try. You know, do the best you can. For me, this is my new experiment for the night, along with mixing with some magnesium. And I uh, already had my L-lysine that I already took that while I was eating. It's best to take that when you was eating. L-lysine. I'm not sure if you ever heard of that. And uh, I think that's about it. Oh, and, and uh, 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 zinc. Mix all that together tonight. Eat it with a little bit of oatmeal. You know what? And we in. We out. All right? So take care of yourself. Be well. And take care of yourself. Best you can. You don't even leave in here and ain't trying. You don't leave. At least you know you left trying. All right? Do the best you can for yourself. And I'm out. Enjoy that. If you want to check that out, that's $250 for the uh, X join. The ex holler at your boy, you know, holster draw analysis has all this stuff in the joint, man. You can draw holsters and stuff like that. You know, you put on there, you can start, and it'll tell you when to go. And you just put the gun by your side if you don't have a holster. And it's that like you got a holster. So right now, I'm at like I got a holster. And it'll tell me, once I hit start, it'll say go. Right? So hit start. Right? Holster the firearm. Not the tech and holster. It is holster. But it's not really holding it, holding it down by my side. But I'm not picking it up. It's fine the other day. Alright, I guess it's not picking up me acting like it's in the holster. So it's not picking it up. But anyway, you can, it says holster your firearm and then when you holster it, which is crazy. I'm not sure why I'm not doing it. Let me try it again. Or maybe it's not picking me up. No, it's not picking it up for some reason, man. Usually this joint be like, the other day I was playing, I had a good time. I'm hit stop. Oh, it says backwards. I'm sorry, I had the thing on backwards. Hold on, I gotta hold, put it down so the collar beats itself. Yeah, it kept seeing backwards, so it actually thought that I was, I was, uh, Right, hey, now we can do it. Okay, here we go. Is that right? Stop. It just dry, right, and it's forward. And it's not tech, It's not detecting this yet. Hold it now. I don't know. It was working the other day. I had a problem with the other day. All right, we'll go back. And it'll just say go and you'll act like you're taking out your holster and you'll shoot. All right, let's see if I can do it again. There you go, host the firearm. Stand by. See, I just put it down by my side. Stand by. Stand by. My man was playing this the other day. He had a ball doing this, man. Stand by. Just hold it down by your side. Then bring it up and shoot. And I'll tell you how fast you're actually shooting, too. Stand by. And what I do, I lift up my shirt like I'm grabbing onto my holster. Stand by. I lift up my shirt like I'm still carrying. And that's it. So now I'm going to hit stop. And it tells me how fast my draws were. So not my underwear draws, but my draws. 1.34 seconds, 1.38, 1.05, 1.36, 1.56. .6. And it tells you that. It tells you the target, how well I hit the target, so on and so forth, blah, 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 blah. Even though you really want the target up there to hit. And that's how it does. So a lot, I'm telling you, there's a lot of things you can do. Recoil meat, I think you only can do that when you actually... Uh, at the range, because you can't really feel the recoil. Type 1 malfunction, I don't know what that says. Whatever it is, it says, uh, Gold practice recovering from a type 1 malfunction, a misfire. This is a little weird because, you know, and so on and so forth. Alright, so that's it. I'm done. I'll shoot a little bit. Just like I said, my Hellcat. How about your boy? Pretty nice piece. Take that off, now we're done. going to put that back in the joint. Again. You know what I'm saying? Had no bullets in here. Ah. 
You can see my finger back there. So and we don't play. We don't play with no loud bullets up in this joint. All right, so I'm out. Talk to y'all later. Have a great evening. Hopefully y'all get a good night's sleep as well. And I'm out.